So on this side, we've got our post emulsifiable hydrophilic system, dip tanks, and all the student has to do after pre clean is simply take their test sample, place them in the basket, dip them in the penetrant, and then just hang them up and leave them for 20 minutes to clean. So after the 20 minutes dwell time, the student simply collects their test piece, goes to a wash off station and performs the first wash off. It's post emulsifiable, there's two wash offs. And the first one, the idea is to wash it off as quickly as possible and to try and get 98% of the surface penetrant off. And you've got to keep the gun back. So keep the gun back, wash it off quickly with the water air gun. Wash it, turn it. So after the first wash off, simply so take the components and place them in the second tank that's the emulsifier. Simply dip and hang and leave for the appropriate amount of emulsification time. After the emulsification time, the components are ready for the second wash. So similar to the first wash, you simply get the components, put the water air guns, quickly wash them off for the second time. Again, keeping the gun 300 mil back. Use the lamp to make sure they're completely clean. After the second wash, the components need to go in the dryer that's obviously temperature controlled. We've got two of these, very simple place your components in the dryer. So the students should check the components are actually dry and once they know the components are dry, you simply take them out of the dryer and place them in a dust storm cabinet. And that goes through a cycle where it spins, makes a dust storm for about a minute and then it locks for a further eight or nine minutes to let all the powder settle down. So when the green light comes back on, that tells you that the dust on cabinet cycle is completed. We'll take the components out, and go to one of the four inspection areas. And so at the inspection area, we simply take the UV lamp, shine it on, and we're looking for areas of dots like porosity or sharp, tight lines. And if we look on this, we've got one sharp line just here. That's an indication, but that would in fact be a defect because as it's running on a longer bar and it's quite straight, it's a seam. 